What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, AB, man. Look, Christianity, you know, growing up, you know, it's been all in, all in my life, all throughout my life, you know, like, it's pretty much like I had to go about it or else, you know, like, it was pretty much like I was wrong, you know, I seemed like a, a bad person if I didn't go about it, you know, it just seems pretty toxic how, you know, we grow up in these religions, you know, grow, I grew up in Christianity and if I didn't want to, if I didn't want to, you know, see it through, if I didn't want to take the time to just devote my life to it, I was wrong, you know. And it just seemed like real toxic. It seemed real toxic how I just, I was obligated. They made me think I was obligated to just go, you know, and be when, be in Christianity like I had no choice. Whole time I had a choice, I just didn't understand I had a choice. You you always have your own choices, just whether you're going to, you know, go about it or not. And like, I just felt like I was, you know, I was on my own picking my decision because you are, you have to choose whether you're going to keep, you know, doing something everybody else doing, you're going to go and seek, you know what I'm saying, answers for yourself. And that's a lot of things people don't understand. You got to seek answers for yourself. And if you don't seek answers for yourself, you're going to always miss out. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just, we got to understand that if I don't want to do this, I don't have to. I'm not the bad person if I don't do this. That's a lot of things people do. You always wonder why a lot of toxic people, when you don't want to do what they're doing, you're wrong. You're always wrong, right? You're always wrong when you don't want to do the things other people are doing. And it's just like, we got to understand. It's just that we got to have an understanding that if I don't want to, I don't have to. I don't have to be this way. I don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Do this and do that. I can just be... I can just be my own person and just work on me and make sure I'm good on the inside because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to make sure you're right on the inside before you even look at things exterior because a lot of times we always call, you know what I'm saying, look at stuff that's exterior. Look at stuff that's on that's around us and go about that. You ever thought about that? We always growing up, you know, religion, God, you know, is, is in you and outside of you at the same time. That doesn't make sense. Why are you in out and outside of me at the same time? That's it's like, come on now. It's either you everywhere or you at one spot. You know, they always make it seem like, you know, it's everything at one time. Like, we got to understand that, no, you know, God, you know, as they make it seem like God is just, you know what I'm saying, this being that is omnipresent, but also they make it seem like God is just this one being and one individual watching over us. Like, it's, it's always a lot of questions. Like, it's never just one thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, they always say, you know, God seeing us and God seeing, you know, so God is everywhere, God seeing us. And a lot of times when people be like, when you when you when you go to a Christian and say, How can God always be watching us? You know what I'm saying? That's that's weird. Why we don't if we got free will, why is God always watching us? Why can't we just, you know, you you go to ask these type of questions like these why and how is it like this? They you ask these why and how questions, they think you crazy. You know what I'm saying? They look at you crazy like, no, you're wrong. You gotta you got to only think of it like this and only think of it as one way. They always want you to think of it as a one-way street. It's not like that. It's always, it's multiple ways on this one street. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just a one-way thing. It's always multiple ways. And that's what people got to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I remember this book. They're like, I, I, I read it in middle school. And it was about, it was it was called 1984. Everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything that I talk about, I will put on the screen. But it was 1984 by George Orwell. George Orwell oh, always mentioned in the book, Big Brother is always watching over you. Always watching over you. Always seeing, you know, always seeing what you're doing, making sure you're doing the right thing in his eyes. Big Brother is always making sure you're doing the right thing in his eyes. Always one person, right? And, he, and in the book, it was talking about how Big Brother is everywhere, but Big Brother can be in one spot at, at one time and just watching over you. Seems kind of weird. There's somebody always watching, you know what I'm saying? Something or someone is always watching over you to make sure you're doing what they want you to do. You know what I'm saying? It's always how they, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's always how your parents will watch you. If you're not doing things the way they want you to do, they may be tired, they may be, you know what I'm saying, a little lazy. If you're just doing too much, they, oh, they don't want you outside anymore because you're doing too much. They don't feel like getting up around, you know what I'm saying, walking around so you can play. They want you to be in one spot. They want you to keep doing this so they can, so they can be okay. They're not worried about how you feel they, so they can be okay. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just like when, you know what I'm saying, you got the, uh, how they talking about how, you know what I'm saying, it's evidence that Americans are getting monitored. And that's why I'm gonna stick to Americans in this video because the biggest, Christianity is the biggest religion in America. You got Americans being monitored by the government. It's always evidence. They are, you can do a simple Google search. Everything you wanna know is a simple Google search. And they saying, you know, Americans getting watched. It's evidence suggesting that American, you know what I'm saying, monitoring of Americans, 
you know, mass surveillance in the U.S., you know what I'm saying, NSA surveillance, you know what I'm saying, all that, it's all these simple things, it's always going to be as a suggestion that it's evidence when it's actually the truth. That's what it really is, you know what I'm saying, like, it's just a simple thing that you got to be aware of. And then, as you can see around the world, now they talking about the seven seal is being, you know what I'm saying, the seven seals is being out. And they talking about the seventh seal is when, you know, all these cataclysmic events is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? The seventh seal, if you don't know, the seventh seal is about, you know, all these cataclysmic events. You know what I'm saying? The angelic trumpets, the, uh, you know what I'm saying, will turn in cue. And the seven bold judgments and more cataclysmic events will happen. Measure, you know what I'm saying? Like a wiping of, you know what I'm saying? Like what? Humanity, as you can say, as you can put it in simple terms. And with that being said, you know what I'm saying, the definition of cataclysmic relating to or denoting a violent natural event, they will make it seem... I dropped my phone, bro. That's an L. I dropped my phone. But they will make it seem like it's such a natural and cataclysmic event. You know what I'm saying? That's what cataclysmic is. It's a natural thing that happens. And they will make it seem like it's so natural to where it's wiping people out. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know how, to, you be thinking, okay, what is about that? Okay, it's natural things that happen. Listen. Cloud seeding. You probably never heard what that was. Cloud seeding is a type of weather modification that aims to change the amount or type of precipitation precipitation that falls from clouds by this by dispersing substances into the air that serve as a cloud condensation or ice nuclei, which alters about everyone else, which alters the microphysical processes within the cloud. You know what I'm saying? You may see around me how some clouds, you know what I'm saying? You see clouds that look they look like cotton balls. They look fluffy, like cotton balls, right? Then you see other clouds that look like some then got smeared. It's some smeared in the water. You know what I'm saying? Like some did, them just got smeared out. That's what you can call cloud seeding because it alters. And if you don't know, you know, if you probably never heard, hey, the government, you weather control. You know what I'm saying? It was a whole song about Kodak, you know, that I put on the screen. By Kodak, he made a song, weather control, and now he a whole different, he look different now. But that's, you know what I'm saying? Like how hurricanes can happen how floodings can happen. Like, yes, like in New Orleans, you know what I'm saying, that's below the uh, sea level, but still how floodings can always happen. Cause, come on, man. Flooding just happening in this area, even, you know, high ground areas, yeah, it just happens, but why does it happen so frequently? Cause they're making it seem like, you know what I'm saying, it's a seven seal just being happened, you know what I'm saying, that's already been activated. You know what I'm saying, and, if you, and they're also the seven seal, the angelic trumpets. If you don't know, you know what I'm saying. If you know about, if you know a little bit about angels, you know angels or, you know, what I'm saying they are the type of people that there are individuals that aren't physical, but they can bring things into the physical, right? That brings me on to the seventh chakra. I'm gonna, you know, remember, I'm gonna put everything on the screen. But the seventh chakra, basically, what it is, because I can't pronounce a word. It's tough. I, I ain't gonna fake. It's tough. But with the seventh chakra, basically, what the seventh chakra is doing, it's your crown chakra, at the top of your brain, and. With the, you know what I'm saying, with the crown chakra, basically what the crown chakra will do, it allows you to bring things that aren't in the physical into the physical. That may be mental, you know what I'm saying, and in spirit that you can bring into the physical. With that being said, okay, the angelic trumpets, you know what I'm saying, they, the trumpets, you know what I'm saying, they will cue at the same time apparently, will bring events, will bring things out of the physical into the physical. It's just a metaphor for them going on with their plans, you know what I'm saying, and you gotta realize, hey, I got, you gotta understand that, hey, I gotta work on myself and understand what the seven chakra is because if I wanna bring stuff into the physical for me, because look, with this religion and Christianity specifically, you always you always externalizing your power. You always taking your energy out of yourself and putting it into somebody else. You get what I'm saying? You always, you know what I'm saying, you worshiping and doing all these things and devoting your life to somebody, to something that you haven't even seen personally. You always have to see something personally for you to truly just believe in. You always had questions. Our life, honestly, our life has been full of cliffhangers. I can admit to myself, I like cliffhangers myself. I like surprises with everything. Even with the good and bad, you know, it's always a surprise. That's a cliffhanger because you don't know what's going to happen next. That leads me to always ask, what's going to happen next? As kids, you know what I'm saying? We always, we, as kids, growing up, we always was like, okay, why, you know, why is this? Why is that? You always think about it as a kid, you always ask these why questions. Why is it like this? Why is it like that? You never got that answer from your parents because they never understood they never could I, could, I could never get a, a direct answer. There's ought to be, some people say yes, some people say no. I never got a direct, a direct answer because they could never answer it fully because they didn't understand 
what they was talking about. You know what I'm saying? And it's always like when you devote your life, whatever I'm devoting my life on, you do things every day, you know what I'm saying? Just devoting your life. That leads me to my next thing. You're talking about a coat. What do coats do? You know what I'm saying? Remember, I'm going to put everything on the uh, screen. What do coats do? Coats, let me find it, all right? A coats, a system of religious veneration and devotion directed toward a particular figure or object. The key word, the big word in there is devotion. What do, Christ, what do pastors always tell you to do? Devote your life to Jesus. They always tell you to devote your life to Jesus because if you don't devote your life to Jesus, you're going to do bad. That's what cults do. They tell you, hey, do this all the time, every day, you'll get rewarded. No, you don't supposed to do stuff. You don't supposed to divide, devote your life to anything outside yourself. Devote your life to getting better. Devote your life to, you know what I'm saying, making yourself better today. How You know what I'm saying? They always tell you to devote your life to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Give everything to Jesus first. Put Jesus first before yourself. You put you put yourself first, you're wrong. They always tell you you're wrong if you put yourself first. Come on now. You, I know you've been hearing them things. I know you've been hearing this. I know you've been hearing. I know you heard it before. Devote your life. That, that's what coaches do. They do it all the time, and they devote themselves. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to. I just want you know. And this is gonna lead me to my next thing. It's just about a little, just a little thing that I figured out. You know what I'm saying? It's gematria. English. You know what I'm saying? We using English gematria. Gematria was, was created. You know what I'm saying? By Jesuits. Jesuits. You know what I'm saying? You can call them Society of Jesus. But they're not Christian, though. Come on, now. You know what I'm saying? You call them children of God. They, that's what they say. You mean, a lot of Christians call themselves children of God. It's a cult. What do cults call themselves? Societies, communities, families. Come on, now. Then if they devote their life to something, they, also, they often call themselves children of something. They call themselves children of this, children of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's how it is. And you got, you know what I'm saying, Society of Jesus... You know what I'm saying? I mean, let me let me let me let me tell you what it is. Society, the Society of Jesus, also known as the Jesuits, is a religious order of the Catholic Church. Catholic, not even Christian, Catholic Church, headquartered in Rome. In Rome, somewhere that's not on the west side of the earth. If there's even the west side. It, it was founded by Ignitus of Loyola and six companies. Six companies, six companies, companies, right? Companies. With the approval of Pope Pope Paul the Third in 1540, in 1540, the society is engaged in evangelization and apostolic apostolic ministry in 112 nations. The Society of Jesus people called Jesuits. So we can take the word Jesus, right? This is one thing I want to say. In Mexico, you got a lot of people named Jesus, right? It's spelled just like Jesus, but it's Jesus. So. I always had that question too. Why is his name Jesus? Is Jesus such a public figure? This is just this loyal, this beautiful figure that everybody is supposed to worship, but his name is Jesus. It's spelled the exact same way. I always had that question and it never got a, good, a direct answer to it. They I always heard that. It's just how they answer it, you know what I'm saying? This is, how, this is what they use as a name down there in Mexico. But it's Jesus, come on now. They gonna call him Jesus too. When you just write Jesus on a paper, on a piece of paper and show it to somebody that's Mexican, they're going to say Jesus because they got a cousin named Jesus. They got a brother named Jesus. They got an uncle named Jesus, a grandfather named Jesus. You get what I'm saying? It's just a big coat. Christianity is just a big coat. It even starts the same C. C, coat. Starts with a C. Christianity, coat. I'm just saying. But let me get back to the gematria. All right, we can get to Jesus, right? He got 74 English original. I mean, or, ordinal. 11 in full reduction. 64 in reverse. Uh, 61. And you know what I'm saying, reverse ordinal and then reverse for reduction is 34, right? Okay. You got the word control. 97, 34, 92, 38, right? You go back to Jesus, 34 is 34. In in two different categories, but it's still 34, right? But it's still 34, right? 34 is 34. You even go to the smaller numbers. The smaller numbers, what I figured out and I understood was just a you know the adding of those numbers together jesus got 11 11 7 7. you go to control he got 7 7 11 11. now i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put a picture up of jesus with a bunch of sheep what do you know about sheep sheep is you know what i'm saying you can say a blind an animal that's blind but not really blind they just follow you know what i'm saying follow the leader don't even understand where they're going they're going to the slaughterhouse don't even realize it though jesus is jesus with a bunch of sheep now you got a lot of, you know what I'm saying, a lot of Christians. 
what do what what do they always do? You know what I'm saying? Hey, with Jesus going, I'm going. No questions asked, right? They always do that. With Jesus is going, I'm going. I'm just pointing out the obvious, though. You know what I'm saying? Jesus in control. Now, another thing I want to point out is, you know, you can say population control is what you want to call it. You know, it's a you know you can say a lot of conspiracy theories. You know, been going on about government population control. You know what I'm saying? You know, controlling the population, making sure, you know, people are like this, people are like that, right? All right. I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna pull up a picture. I looked it up. I used to ask this kid, I asked this question as a kid. I never got a direct answer. I never, they never understood why I was this like this. I always, I always asked, how many people can go to heaven? How many people? How many people? I always asked it because I just, you know, I asked it and I got an answer too. And it come from Jehovah's Witnesses, whatever, that fall under Christianity. You know, we just call them Jehovah, I guess. I, I guess. Said 144,000 faithful Christians go to heaven to rule with Christ in the kingdom of God. To rule with Christ in the kingdom of God. 144,000 people, right? There are millions, probably a billion or two billion, three billion, whatever, Christians in the world. A couple bit, it's a, it's probably, you know, it's a lot of, it's hundreds of millions of Christians in the world, but only 144,000. <sighs> That's crazy, right? That's crazy that only 144,000 people can go to heaven and faithful Christians, faithful, faithful, faithful. That word faithful is key because faithful, we have faith in something, you know what I'm saying? You just keep going with it, right? When you're faithful to somebody, you be with them, right? When you're faithful in a relationship, you stay with that person because you're faithful. You, you know what I'm saying? You just trust them. And a lot of times, faithful people are blind. They're blind to what's really going on in a relationship, right? All right. So since they're faithful, they don't really understand what's going on, yet they're being controlled by somebody, you know what I'm saying, that, it, that can really be a deceiver. What, they, what, light, what do bright lights do? Blind you, right? Bright lights blind you. And what they call Jesus, like, a lot of times, a light worker. And I heard one time, they said Jesus was a deceiver. And that's a question I always had in, you know what I'm saying, Christianity that never got answered. It's always questions that never, it's always deep questions that can never get answered because it's full of cliffhangers. When you, you know what I'm saying, when you, when you're in a successful relationship with somebody, whether it be, you know what I'm saying, your bro, you know what I'm saying, your female, it's your sis, you know what I'm saying, y'all got that team, y'all got the team effort, like this is my team, these are my people, right? You got some people that you just sure, you just sure like, hey. I love, I love him, you know what I'm saying? He love me, that's my boy. You know what I'm saying? I love her, she love me, that's my girl. You know what I'm saying? That's my team. You got some people, right? Even if you're in a relationship with somebody, I love, you know what I'm saying? That's my partner in crime. That's my, we a duo. You, you got to understand it because it's straightforward. Ain't no cliffhangers. Like, yeah, you still get surprises about beautiful things about that person, but you got a great understanding and it's just all right about that person's morals, their values, what their plans are, right? Right, exactly. But with this, with this certain religion, Christianity, Cause I can, I can really only speak in Christianity because that's what I experienced with. It's always cliffhangers, it's always this and that. And even the word religion, right? You show re the word religion to a kid, you wanna know how they gonna uh, sound it out? Cause it's spelled R-E-L-I, right? A lot of times you can say that's rely. Rely, just without the Y, it ain't rely. You got the G and the I, and then you got the O-N. Rely, you know what I'm saying? They go, the kid gonna say rely, good, Eon, right? Rely, good, eon. Sounds like relying on, right? Okay, since it sounds like relying on, you're relying on something outside of yourself to do something for you. What happens when you re rely on something outside of yourself to do something for you? You never get nowhere, right? You never get nowhere. It's funny how you never get nowhere when you rely on something outside of yourself to do something for you. I'm just pointing out the obvious. I'm just pointing out simple things that makes too much sense because what happens when something makes too much sense? We have a lot of questions. Humans, a lot of times, what do we do when something makes too much sense? We obviously not sure about it. We're not sure. But when something don't make too much sense, when it, when we're not really, you know what I'm saying, when we don't have a full answer about something, what do we tend to do? We want to, you know what I'm saying, we go with that because it's full of surprises. And people ignore that feeling in their gut just to go with the place that's full of surprises. They do it a lot. Of, it's, it's, too, it's done too many times. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me get back to it. We got 144,000 people. It's crazy. That's 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 in cra That's crazy. Government control. You know what I'm saying? Jesus in control. Now, they make it seem like you know what I'm saying. Lucifer. You could call it. You know what I'm saying? The devil. He's a bad. You know what I'm saying? Bad individual, right? 
They, what, can, what can they say? One, one man can't take over uh, something. One man can't dominate everything by himself, right? You say one person can't dominate everything by themselves, yet you're allowing one individual to rule over all, so they say. Now, let me, that, that brings me to the, you know what I'm saying, to the word, you know, to the acronyms. Acronyms, you know what I'm saying, if you don't know what an acronym is, it's basically an abbreviation formed from the initial letters of other words and pronounced as a word, right? You, like NASA, you know what I'm saying? You got NASA. Um, I don't, I, I forgot the words for NASA, but you can use God, right? That's a three letter word. You, you know what I'm saying? People, people might not like to, see, to use G-O-D. You know what I'm saying? They say don't use God name in vain. What? Come on now. Like, listen. NASA, you put you you just took the periods out now as a word. NASA. You put the periods back in now as N A N A S A, right? Now you got God. You take the periods out now as God. You put the periods back in now as G O D. Three words. Mm, what what can the three words be? You got the gathering of dimensions, group of dimensions. You know what I'm saying? Gathering of deceivers, group of deceivers. So this video is especially alone. I'ma use the group of deceivers. Been deceiving you this whole time. And they ain't nah, they ain't lied to you. They just didn't tell you the whole story. But when they tell you the whole story, you thought it was funny and then you just went along with it. And then when people showed you the real evidence and the truth behind things, the outright direct truth, you didn't go with it because you was like, nah, they doing this, doing that. Right? And that's another thing. You know, they say, you know, God loves all, Jesus loves all. Who who, who are we supposed to be worshiping? You say you're supposed to love and worship God. Then you say, you know what I'm saying, we're supposed to worship the Son, Jesus. But then you say the Son is God, Jesus is God. Bro, I'm confused. Who is the God? You know, it's, always, it's all these unclear questions. It's all these unclear statements that you're not giving me direct answers to. I'm asking who we're supposed to worship. You say Jesus, and then, but why do you say we got to worship God? Like, there's a lot of questions that never got answered. Life is full of cliffhangers. Yes, it's always fun to have clippers because you talk about it more. You give it more energy. Now they now when they come out with something else, oh, there it go. All right, just answer this question. You thought it did though, cause, but it's another cliffhanger. You get what I'm saying? You should you should be getting tired of cliffhangers. Since you got acronyms, right? We're gonna use group of deceivers. It's crazy. Who is the biggest deceiver? People always talk about with Satan's right. A group of fallen angels that left heaven and decided they just want to do bad, right? A group of fallen angels, Satans with an S, devils with an S, whatever you want to call them. And you say Lucifer, you know what I'm saying, is this big deceiver, right? Come on now. Come on now. Lucifer is this big deceiver. And you say you want to, you know what I'm saying, you say, hey, he the biggest deceiver. Let's go back to Jemashua. Come on now. We're going to go back to Jesus first. Because mm. I, I heard from somebody, they said Jesus was a deceiver. Come on now. I think they said it. I, I was at church one time. I think they said it. You got 74, 11, 61, 34. You already know about that. We are, cause we we just spoke about them before. Mm, here go Lucifer right here. He even popped up for me. Lucifer, 74. All right, it started off bad. 38, 115, 43. 34 and 43 is the same. It's just backwards, right? Okay. 11, 11, 7, 7. What Lucifer got? Mm, let's go look. 11, 11, 7, 7. It's the. Dang, so Jesus ain't Lucifer. They ain't the same. They got too much synergy. Come on now. Come on now. Somebody that can portray so beautiful can be so evil at the same time. You ever heard the previous things are the most evil? It, it's always too good to be true. Come on now. I'm just pointing out the obvious. It's too simple. It's right in your face. It showed us right in our face the whole time. The whole time. The whole time. You know what I'm saying? It's just funny how it, 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 even in shows, in cartoons and stuff, they always joke about it. They show you what they do because look, it's a whole Masonic thing. All right, so look, I'm finna mess your head up with this one. With Freemasonry, right? The 33rd degree is the highest, it's the highest degree. It's the highest degree, easy. And with that being said, you know what I'm saying? A 33rd degree Mason, right? What does a 33rd degree Mason mean? In the US, members of the Scottish Rite can be elected to receive the 33rd degree by the Supreme Council. Supreme Council, you know what I'm saying? A group of people deciding. Whether you know what I'm saying, you did the right thing. It's, enough, it's basically if you did enough rituals, you know what I'm saying, to get to the highest degree that you can get in Freemasonry. It is, it is conferred on members who have made a, who made major contributions to society or to Masonry in general. Basically, like what I just said, you know what I'm saying, you're doing the rituals. Okay, 33, that number should ring a bell. 
know what I'm saying? 33. This is, it just goes to show you that you you are being deceived right in front of your eyes. The information has been out there. It's just, and if you don't know where I'm getting all this stuff, it's just a simple Google search. It's Masonic the whole time. You don't know about Freemason and stuff? Hey, they people that, hey, they run, they run this. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna be all right with you. They run this. The Freemasons run this. <laughs> They run this whole system we in. They run this. All you got to do is get out the system by not being in it. <laughs> it's just that simple. Just not being in the system. You know what I'm saying? Because what they what they tell you to do is for their for their God. Their God. Their, their group of deceivers, right? Okay. Lucifer, you know what I'm saying? Like, you remember how I said one man can't do one thing? You know what I'm saying? One, one individual can't just do everything by himself. Okay. You can say Lucifer is the, the decoy. What do wolves do when they hunt? You got a decoy. You know what I'm saying? The wolf, the, you can say the alpha male, alpha female, whatever you want to say, is standing in the front being a decoy. Whole time finna get ambushed. Ambushed. Lucifer ain't doing that stuff by himself because he got, he got his group. Lucifer, you know what I'm saying? Masculine, you know what I'm saying, entity, got his group. That individual got his group. You can't see it, but when they do it, you ambush because you fell for the trap. Because you thought you had a one-on-one -on -one with the alpha male, alpha female. Now, you getting hit from all sides. You left, right, and from behind you. Now you done. You got caught in another trap. Now you got caught in one of the biggest traps to ever hit humanity. Christianity. It's crazy how humanity and Christianity rhymes too much. It just shows too much uh, synergy with that. Anyways, I'm going to put a picture up, you know what I'm saying, of the Mason and God, right? All right. They say it's Lucifer. That's their God. In this picture, you will see children looking up to this guy children now what happens in christianity when you're a kid bro it happened too much in the summer for me i hated it i hated it bible study son bible study bible study bible study all in the summer you used to come picking me up pick me up on a bus i used to be half asleep used to be suffering in bible study i didn't want to be there i hated that the only thing that was good about it was i got something to eat free got some juice for free i got to play without my mama yelling at me that's the only thing but like I was Bible study, I hated it. They always tell the kids to go to Bible study. Why don't you tell the girls to do Bible study so they can re up on their Christianity, you know what I'm saying, on their Bible stuff so they can understand Bible? Because you understand, because look, when you start to become more aware of things and you ask more questions, you have no choice but to get direct answers. And when you get direct, and when you do a lot of research, you get two direct answers and you know too much of the truth. And if, if they were to do Bible study for grown ups so they understand it more, you will have nobody coming. You, you will have, if you lose the grown you lose the kids. That's just how it is. Because the kids going to come with their mom and dad going to go. Every time. So, in this picture, you will see uh, kids looking up to the God, right? Looking up to the Masonic God. Children of the, of the Masonic God. You see how I just added a word? Because sometimes words are just took out. You can take words out just to not tell the whole story. And then they just show you. Like I'm being shown right now. And if you don't know where I'm getting all my information at, Google. Google. It's simple Google searches. They have to put everything on Google. They have to. Why? Because they have to They have to put it out and show you. I'm telling you, you do a simple Google search or something, you will get an answer. It may not be direct, but that's when you got to use your brain. Use your brain. Use your head. Break it down. Just break it down with yourself. Just using regular logic. Using the knowledge that you got. And breaking it down. It's just that simple. I'm just hey, I'm just hey, I'm just I'm just letting you know the truth. And I right, look. Since you got, you know what I'm saying? You got that person right, you got that individual right there. Children are looking up to him. Kids are already looking up to him going to Bible study, right? Okay. I'm finna go to Easter. Let me go to Easter, this beautiful day everybody always love to go to. Gematria, right? I'm back on Gematria. 68, 23, 94, and 40. Alright, chill out, man. Remember that bug, man. I ain't playing. Fake. The word fake. A simple word. 23, 14, 85, 22. I'm go back to Easter. 68, 23. 23, right? Okay, 23. 94 and 40, right? Okay, okay. 23 on fake, on, for the word fake. 23, 14, 85, 22. 22? You see, because tw I'm going to put everything on the screen for y'all to see. So, you know, you got 22 and you got 22 at the bottom as well. It's just so you want. It's just so you can add simple math. Two plus two is four. <laughs> Cause the smaller numbers is just to sum what each number adds to be. You got fifty-five and forty-four on Easter. You got fifty-five and four and two and two on fake. 
What's two plus two? Four, right? Because it's supposed to be one number because it's only one through nine. Those are the original numbers, one through nine. So 55, 44. Too much synergy with it being fake. How you how, how it's fake? All right, check me out. I'm going to put it. Just remember, I'm going to put everything on the screen for y'all to see what I'm doing. April 2021. They say Jesus spent three nights and three days. What's three plus three? Six, right? Okay. Easter is on the, is on the fourth day, the fourth month, right? Okay. You may not, you may be saying, okay, that don't equal six. Okay. Okay. The second of April, the fourth month, second, you know, second day. Good Friday, fourth month, second day. That's equal six, right? Now you may be asking, okay, that's only, it's only two sixes. What the other six? If you want to do that, okay, let me go on Google. I did a quick Google search. Jesus spent six hours on the cross. That's all I need to say. He spent six hours on the cross. Six, six, six. Always have it right in your face. Just use the regular information that you see. It's always going to be three sixes. If you don't know about number six, number six means wisdom. They have the wisdom on people. They have the knowledge on people. Six, six means knowledge. Wisdom. They under, they know more. They, they use triple sixes because they have so much more wisdom than a lot of people that a lot of people is not going to see these small things. And they love the number 666. Okay. That's just coincidence, right? There ain't no such thing as coincidence, but it's a coincidence, right? All right, go to uh, 2022 on April. Where's Easter? On the 17th. The third the third full week. Now watch me break it down. It's too simple how I'm going to break it down. That's the third full week on the third Sunday. Three plus three is six. Now you go on the, to the 15th. That's Good Friday. What's one plus five? Six. Oh. They say died on Wednesday, so it's three nights and three days, 14, 15, 16, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three nights and three days, right? Three nights and three days equals six. There you go, you're six, six, six. If you don't even want to do, if you don't want to do the one plus five, 2022, what's two plus two? Four, right? What's a, what's plus, what's four plus two? Six. It's so simple that you can get so much information out of simple things. Everything in life is simple. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Trust me, I'm just pointing out the obvious and it's just as simple as that. Trust me. And remember, I'm putting everything on the screen as I do it. It's just simple researching. It took me only a couple hours to get all this information. Only probably two. And it really only probably took me at the most 45 minutes. But I just went back and got more. I got more. Because there's one thing you know about Christians. They're going to fight you to the death. Christians going to fight you to the death for defending, you know, the person they worship. What you worship somebody for? You don't, you ain't going to worship your partner. You, ain't, you don't even want to worship the partner, the person you love the most that you're going to make kids with. So why would you worship somebody else that you ain't having kids with? You know what I'm saying? It's just that it's just that simple. It's 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 that simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not even, and I'm not even really not going crazy. Oh, this is one thing. This is another thing. When people don't have information, they obviously act. They act. They act in ignorance. When they don't understand something, they act in ignorance. That's a lot. A good thing a lot of Christians do. When they don't under, when they, you know what I'm saying? When you go into them with information about, you know what I'm saying? About their thing, just a different. Like even if you're not going to them bashing about the religion that they worship, you know what I'm saying? The person that they worship, you just you just presenting them with information that is contradicting their beliefs. What what are they gonna do? You're wrong, acting ignorance because what the what? I remember I was told this when I was growing up. What's in the Bible is final. Since you saying fear God is final, do He love me? I'm supposed to love Him. Do He love me? That's toxic though, right? That's toxic. You you know, you know what I'm saying? You are you talking to people. They were like, oh, I, you know, so I want you to take care of me, but I'm not taking care of you. That's that's toxic, though. It's one-sided. I'm not. We're not with that one-sided stuff over here. We're not going to one-sided relationship. That's toxic. You get what I'm saying? All that stuff is toxic. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Just, look, I'm just pointing out the obvious. Freemasons, Lucifer is their god, so they say they're children of God. Christians, Jesus, God, whatever. Children of God. I'm just pointing it out. And then this about probably the, you know what I'm saying. It's probably the last thing I got to talk about. Um, okay. Matthew 10, 24, right? I'm ready. Buzz wanna play with me today. I'm gonna give to uh verse 24 first. The student is not above the teacher, nor serving above his master. Don't that sound like a jealous teacher to you? You you know what I'm saying? Use them kung fu samurai movies. When the one student just comes in confident, diff, he different. He or she is just different. I'm talking about different breed. They they know they finna go crazy. Better than the master already before they even came in because it's a mind thing. It's all a mind thing. It's not about your, yeah, you got to have physical skill, but it's a mind thing at the end of the day. The master don't want them to be better than them so early, so they, they have a battle. 
then the student win, not a not a master is all embarrassed and quit, and then a new master come and make everybody else better with them because the mind thing. That becomes the new master now because they already learned everything and they already excelled so quick. You know what I'm saying? They, they, when somebody, you know what I'm saying, so caught up in lies, they don't want you to surpass, they don't want you to realize and understand everything because when you understand stuff, they often, I ain't gonna fight over you, what they do, they often want you to stay down. They want you to stay low so they can feel like they got some power over you. They want to overpower you. I'm just pointing out the obvious, though. Just pointing out the real. And then in 23, it say, hold on, let me start at 21. Brother will betray brother to death. A father, his child, children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by everyone because of me. But one who stands firm to the end will be saved. How am I going to be saved? Saved from what? From everybody that's telling me the truth. So now I got to be told more lies. I got to be deceived some more. I got to be, you know, I got to believe this and that more. I'm just pointing out the obvious, bro. I'm just pointing out, I'm just, I got a lot of evidence. That didn't didn't take me long to get. It didn't it ain't like I had to just soul search for like three years. No, it took me no more than two hours to just be sure. And this is this is probably the last thing I'm finna say. When you cutting off toxic people, when you point out toxic people wrongs and you're not going for it no more, what usually usually happen? The LA is the end of the world. Right? The LA is the end of the world. So when somebody's system is going down, the LA is the end of the world, like Everything got to stop till I get it back under the world. And in heaven, you think it's just a beautiful place. There's no bad, no sicknesses, all white. Bro, people, bro, the most religious people were white and they the most evil. Okay, hold on real quick. The KKK, Ku Klux Klan, right? What was their religion? Seems to me that they was Christianity. They was Christians. That's insane. That's It's insane to think people that well, Christian. They say heaven is all white, you know what I'm saying? All beautiful. It's all it's all heaven is this way, it's all good, no bad. That's insane to think everything is supposed to be all good and not bad. If you know if you if you understand something about life, you know, just you having that understanding of hey, I need to I need to take this time to understand myself and what I'm doing right now. Cause what I'm doing right now is not giving me no so let me take this chance to understand and why I really don't feel why I'm not really where I'm at where I wanna be. Why I'm why I'm not where I wanna be, why I'm not really just happy right now. Just showing you a different perspective. Because when you show people a lot, a lot of people a different perspective, they think it's wrong. They add in ignorance. I'm just pointing out, I'm just showing you a different perspective, you know. Take what do what you will with it. Do what you will. Show people this video. Look, make sure y'all taking care of yourself. I love you. I'm gonna talk to y'all later.